to do a quick video on how to restore your Brazilian weave. Lately, I've been feeling like my hair is really dry on the ends and you know, I just really, really, really don't want to take it out because I just got it in about three weeks ago. The top is fine. It seems as if the back and, you know, the ends is just, I don't want to say raggedy, but just kind of dry. So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to restore my Brazilian weave. And I have to tell you that I am a licensed cosmetologist. So a lot of stuff that I use, I dig it from the beauty house. Um, which is Armstrong McCall here. Um, so if you can get to like a JCPenney's or maybe like an Ulta, you may be able to get the same products, but you do not have to use the same ones that I'm using. You can actually use anything that's a uh, reconstructive um, conditioner All you're gonna for your need hair. for this video is a paddle brush like this or any kind of soft paddle brush that won't rip through your hair. That's really important that you use something that won't rip through your hair. You'll need two um, clips, like silver clips or the duckbill clips, any kind of clip to hold your hair. Two. And you'll need your reconstructor. Today I'm going to use It's a 10 Restrictive Mask. And it's a Miracle Mask. This is a sample that I got um, from Armstrong McCall. I'm going to use this on my ends. I'm not going to reconstruct my hair. So you'll see that I'll only be doing, um, I'll only be reconstructing from maybe here down. Okay. All right. So let's get started. All you're going to need to do is section your hair off in two. You're going to need to take the first section, move your hair off to the side. If you have any hair out and take the hair in the front and just kind of put it behind your ear, like out of the way. You're going to need to start from the bottom and just comb it out. I actually combed this side out already. But just comb it all the way out. Make sure you get the back and comb it out. Then you're going to take the reconstructor and pour a good bit in your hand. I'm going to use half of this and if I run out I do have something else that I can use but I'm going to try to do um, you know as much as I can with this sample. Okay so I forgot to show you guys how much so it's just about that much and you need quite a bit so you'll just take it and from here wherever you want to start grab it and put it on. and mix it all in and run it through. And I would suggest that you do this when you're about to wash your hair. Like I plan on washing my hair on tomorrow. The holidays, the holidays are coming up and I really, really, really want to keep this hair in. It is shedding a little bit. I don't know like what happened. I went in to have a baby. I got an epidural and I know some people's hair like changes after an epidural, but it seems as if my weave changed. <laughs> after the epidural now i have to admit that i was very 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 lazy after i had the baby um not really lazy i was tired and i didn't really wash my hair like i was supposed to i just left it in a ponytail so i kind of neglected my weave and it's so funny because they say that this hair is you know human hair but once it's cut it's like dead and once it <laughs> grows out it's dead but it seems like you know it got really dry like it was my own hair and I know that's not possible, so it's just kind of weird. So I'm trying to take care of it and keep it as long as possible. So what I'm going to do now, I have it on there. I have as much as I feel like I need. My ends are saturated. I'm going to braid it. And it doesn't have to be neat. Just take three sections, tighten it up, and braid. And you should feel the conditioner all the way through as you're braiding. And this is kind of going to, this is going to seal it. Not kind of, this is going to definitely seal this conditioner into this hair. And if this doesn't work, then I'll take it out and I'll get some more hair. But I'm really hoping that this works. I didn't tell you guys to get 
a rubber band you can use it if you want to I'm just using it to hold it I will not leave it there overnight so then I'm gonna put my hair back you should not leave reconstructor on your hair overnight on your real hair um because it could like over process your hair your hair could become limp or whatever so I wouldn't do that I wouldn't put it on my real hair so like I said I'm gonna take my real hair and I'm going to take my real hair and just kind of push it out of the way. You know the routine from the ends and back up. And this is some beautiful, beautiful Brazilian weave. I recently got it trimmed because I thought that was what was going on, but it wasn't. So this is my last attempt to save my Brazilian weave. And I do know that Brazilian curly hair gets very, very, very tangled. So this is something good for Brazilian curly. Um, you can use it on straight hair, but straight hair to me is a lot more easy, but it's not versatile like curly and wavy. All right, so once it's all the way home, come through. You can take your conditioner. And if I like this, then I'll buy it. I use a lot of It's a Sin products. Um, like the detangling spray and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. But this is a sample, so I'm gonna try this sample out. And I don't know if this is gonna be enough, but we're gonna try it. I find with it's a 10, a little goes a long way. And I'm just gonna kinda run it through since I don't have a lot. And I'm gonna saturate those ends, saturate those ends, because that's what needs the most, the most attention. And we just want this hair to like come back to life because it's such beautiful hair. I just wish that I had taken better care of it. This is my first time ever having a problem with my Brazilian hair, with Brazilian hair that I've purchased. I'm not sure if this is enough for this side. This is going to be my last attempt. So I really want to make sure that it's like all the way saturated. And you should see it, it'll like stand up, you know, once it's totally saturated. And I don't want to get this conditioner on my brush. So that's why I combed it out first. And now I'm just going to proceed to braid. And that's my real hair in the back. Bring it all the way to the end. You wanna seal those ends with this reconstructor. And all you're gonna do is take it around. And clip. Now I'm doing this because my face is like super sensitive. I do not want this reconstructor anywhere near my face. I'm going to pull this off, put it over here, and clip. This is my real hair that I like pushed out the way. And I'm going to tuck those behind my ear. I'm going to put a headscarf on and kind of sit a uh, satin headscarf, by the way. Make sure you always use satin or silk. You do not want to use cotton. It'll dry your hair out. And you do not want to lay directly on your hair unless you're laying on a satin or silk pillowcase or satin sheets. Satin or silk sheets. Like, you never want to lay on cotton. It's just the worst thing for your hair. So you don't want to do that. I'm just trying to get this one tight. It doesn't really matter. I just want it tight. It doesn't really matter if it's like neat or not because I'm going to put a headscarf on. 
So after that, I'm going to put the head scarf on. This is my hair that's like sticking out and I don't want my hair anywhere near the reconstructor because I don't want to overprocess my hair. I need the Brazilian hair to like get some moisture. My hair is naturally oily, so I'm not too much worried about my hair. But just try this out. See if it works. Um, I'll, I'm going to come back with a um, follow up video to let you guys know if it worked and then I'll show you how I go from curly to straight you know, within a style. So you guys have a good day and let me know below in the comment box if it worked for you and if you want more videos on anything else. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back soon with another video.